If you're anything like me, when the weather turns nice, you'd rather be outside working on your hobbies than inside in a workshop. We've had a lot of nice days lately. So I looked at my bucket list, I picked something I've always wanted to do that would get me outside. Building and flying an RC scratch plane has always been at the top of my list. This one was designed by Experimental Airlines. It's a motor glider with a 60 inch wingspan nicknamed Photon. It's built out of Dollar Tree foam and packing tape and is practically crash proof as you're about to see. It took me about 15 hours to build. I'd highly suggest taking a look at the Experimental Airlines YouTube channel if you ever have the desire to build a scratch plane. Now, go easy on me in the comments here because uh, this is my first time flying and I admit, I am terrible. Okay, this is the scary thing. That's your body. That's your with full, full prop, so I'm assuming it was going 70,000 RPM. Let's investigate the damage together. Apparently, planes aren't designed to run into fences. How did the rest of the plane hold up, considering the fact that it's in three pieces? So the, the connectors for the servos me, just, they've just popped right out. No breakage. Oops, Ooh. sorry. And the, the rubber bands just popped, so this system stayed intact. The rubber bands didn't even bust, they just, they just popped. And the rest of the plane, the, the rest of the plane, is fully intact. The propeller was was broken, but the electronics are still intact. The battery is still in there. Things got shifted around a little bit, but nothing nothing really broke other than you know this has suffered quite a bit. And but that was probably from the two other crashes. I would agree with that. And the prop. So what you're telling me is that the weakest part of this plane is the prop blade that you didn't make. <laughs> That's a bummer. Check this out, even the camera is still intact. <laughs> At least one of them. <laughs> 